Hi guys, welcome back. Um, right, as you can probably tell from this one, this is uh, part two now. Um, I've actually gone ahead and completed three of the legs. I've left this one just to show you what I went through on these. Um, some of the parts were misnumbered. Uh, for instance, B11 was C5 and f8 was actually e8 but it's a bit of a chippy choppy having to move them around a bit to see which one fits best in which particular uh, position because some of the holes are rounded and some of them are actually square squared off as as are the pegs that go in them these little blighters um so i thought i'd just do this one on camera and then we'll have this one bang up to date uh, that'd be all four legs on with the ladder etc and i've been putting in a bit of sprue goo just to fill in uh, the gaps that are around the tops here you can probably see it shining a bit but um that'll dull down when the primer's on uh so we'll see how far we get and um if needs be then we can get some priming on there and we'll take it from there so let's get underway right uh, let's start off with this one and this one goes in there and pops up under into two little tiny holes which I think you'll be able to see just in there It's been has been really really fiddly but nothing to worry about with model builders eh and uh, I'll just answer Phil East's uh, question actually he's interested to see whether it's actually going to be read this kit or not um, now I tend to to build as they're supposed to look I mean it's going to be difficult with this one because um, it's from 1969 isn't it so there's not many color pictures about other than the fact there was loads of gold leaf or uh, gold everywhere on it but uh, i always put a little egg in every kit i build there's always a bit of me in there which is either a bit of red somewhere i've just spotted another place for sprue goo there look just in there just there that little gap um but yeah, there's always a little bit of me in there. So somewhere, there will be red. But where, I haven't quite decided as yet. It's, um, it's a case of force fitting <laughs> in places. Um, and that one's gone in okay now. Now we have to see which way round these have to go. That's a round hole at the bottom, so that one. No. That one must be for there. This is the reason why I didn't do I thought I'd have a practice on the other legs before I got to this one. Yeah, that one's in nice. So yeah, we'll see how it goes and get this done and then hopefully we'll cut across to the spray booth get some get some primer on it I'll put a bit more sprue goo in that one after and uh, right now then behave there we go it's a little bit ill-fitting in believe me I had every single one of these off and tried them in each individual little hole uh, to see where it fitted best and looked best so I'll just get a bit of sprue goo in there after just to uh, make it conform a bit better make it look as if it belongs there so that's not too bad on its own But the 
gold leaf should be a bit of a challenge which part of me is uh part of me is looking forward to because having never done it before it's should be a bit of a challenge and if it doesn't work i can always strip it off and go back to the chrome then and um get some clear orange on there get the gold effect that way but i much prefer be nice uh, a very good friend of mine bought me um a limited edition as a christmas present uh, i won't say his name in case he doesn't want me to say it but um it's a tiny little piece of foil and there were 50 sets done that was given to the commander um on earth on the day that this beast landed the eagle landed on the moon and it's a tiny tiny little bit of foil At some stage I'll, I'll actually show it i'll put it on video and this is the reason why i wanted to particularly build this kit so is I can put this kit up and then display um, what I've been bought next to it. Absolutely chuffed with it. It's, uh, we all have our thoughts on the moon landing. Was it moon landing? Was it Area 51? Was it a big warehouse somewhere? We all have thoughts on it, I know. So then this one actually fits into there and then goes up and under and whoops whoops oops boink that one there and then into there like that so it goes might just have to move that ladder around a bit it's it's a keyed a keyed fit for the ladder on there and it seems a bit strange coming down be more sort of twisted around that way i would have thought, would have thought but we'll have a look at anyway so i'll do a bit more filling with sprue goo in here and around these support arms and then as soon as i've done that i'll come back and we'll get some primer on see you in a second be right back all right guys i'm back um right i've stuck the platform on i've straightened the ladder up so that looks a lot better than it did and i've put sprue goo in places so that's me ready now we're gonna go over to the spray booth and get some primer on come on all right guys here we are at the spray booth i um, going to be using ammo one shot for this one it's a gray and uh going to be using my neo cn uh iwata neo for with a three and a half mil needle in it so i'll get loaded up with paint and we'll set off okay here we go oh, you can probably hear the extractor going i'll uh, mute all that out and do a voiceover Spraying it about 20 to 25 psi. 
like this, really like this coat. So I'll stick that one back in. Just do the underside of this one. Very good timing. Just enough paint in there. So, there we go. Back to the bench. 